Charlotte Wiltshire has long since stopped moving. <laughs> oh. No way. So easily. Huh. She really is dead. Serves you right, you monster. <laughs> What the hell? This doesn't feel right at all. It's as if I'm awakened from a long sleep. Something isn't right. <laughs> well! <laughs> here you are! Limiting your mortal enemy. <laughs> but it's too late. You avenged your dead classmates, aren't you happy? I just wanted to understand her. <laughs> sure, but she's dead now. I... It's okay. I can still make everything right. I can do it. <laughs> do what? I'll... I'll take her place. And find out the truth. Oracle, I have a wish to make. This is the only logical conclusion. This is what everything was leading up to. I'll use the Oracle's power to transfer my consciousness into one of these vessels. If it really is what she said, there really are thousands of eyes watching my every step. Oh no. I'm terrified. No, I mustn't falter. I can do it. I'll make it a better timeline. I will not become a murderer like her. I will prove her wrong. I will prove that free will exists. Even if I break and my mind shatters, this is the only way to find out the truth. Even if I forget what I was looking for, this is the only way I can atone for what I've done. No one will notice a thing. Then, it occurs to me, that maybe this was Wiltshire's plan all along. That maybe it was her wish for me to step into her shoe. That maybe I was fated to become her from the very start. This is how her story ends. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> what Charlotte should we choose? <laughs> It's like doing grocery shopping. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, this vessel will do. My world meets its end a long time ago. This is how the first game started. The humanity as I knew it ceased to exist. It disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believed in have died, and churches were built as their graves. Chaos turned into order, and finally it became quiet. All I can do is dream, for I too am so, so tired. Will you be as kind as to join me in a date in, in- oh fuck. <laughs> Will you be as kind as to join me in dream seeing? Hello, Charlotte. It's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. As for what happens next, you already know all of it, don't you?
Scarlet Eiler became Charlotte Wiltshire. She used to be a cold and calculating, but ended up becoming absent-minded and clueless as her mind crumbled under the influence of Mother's voice. I carefully observed her from afar and gave her a yellow ribbon to differentiate her from other Charlottes. I helped her think she was trapped in the TV world. I'll help you kill Wiltshire again, I told her. That phrase seemed to trigger her memories. She remembered who she really was, and it horrified her. She understood that she failed to prove V-19 wrong, which, in turn, made her suicidal. Scarlet Eiler's story should have ended after she wished to save the Oracle. It should have ended. But the Oracle intervened. They created a channel. It became a world made of Scarlet Eiler's soul data. You are familiar with the concept by now, aren't you? Scarlet Eiler couldn't believe that the tenants were real, so imaginary they became. She was obsessed with the trial, so it manifested in her world. In my dream, I am the world, huh? How stupid. Why did you go there anyway? I wanted to see for myself what her inner world is like. And you end up getting humiliated, beaten up, and almost raped by the inhabitants. Congrats. Not only that, you took cosplay to a new level, once again, by using Vincent's vessel. Huh. <clears throat> Still, my journey was rather fruitful. I was afraid of facing her for so long, but when we finally met again, she didn't have the memories of the past anymore. Even though I tried to trigger them so many times, she had no recollection of the past events. She didn't even recognize the excerpt from one of my stories that she used to criticize. She was kind, lost, clumsy, easily fooled, delusional. I can hurt her this time around, I thought. But when I fell, she helped me get back to my feet. Scarlet Eiler would have kicked me until I lost consciousness. When I got hurt, she tended to my wounds. Scarlet Eiler would have hurt me even more. When I cried, she would try to reach out to wipe away my tears. Scarlet Eiler would have shouted at me. Pfft, the concept you had of her, anyway. She's changed. So I couldn't hurt her, nor could I help her. Ironically, she couldn't pass the trial herself. Okay, I think I get it. But there's one thing I don't really understand. If you were using Vincent's vessel the whole time, then who was the other you? That's... <laughs> Hello there. Why the surprised faces? Isn't it obvious who I am? I am Seth, the father of this dysfunctional family. It's impossible. There's only mother in the house. Oh really? How long do you plan on rejecting my existence? Miss Wiltshire, be careful. <laughs> If this person is the cognitive version of my father, then he's even more powerful than Mother is. Easy, easy. I'm not here because of you. Right. Because you never cared about me. I have a deal with a puppeteer. To save the child. To save Scarlet Eiler. 
now known as Charlotte Wiltshire. As you can see, this TV box is, in fact, Scarlet Eiler's Soul Cube. Ha, because Charlotte's unit, 091, also known as the Oracle, wanted to preserve her soul data no matter what. Huh. The child saved her, and 91 tried to save her in return. Truly the romance of the century, isn't it? However, as a result, Scarlet Eiler's soul now resides in this shabby TV set. To free her would mean to break this box she's trapped in. That's what it means to save her. You! You bastard! Was killing her mother's womb not enough? She was an unwanted child, is all. It's a common practice. You should know better than to make a big deal out of it. It was a big deal for Mother. That's all that matters. Miss Wiltshire. We have to help her. What's gotten into you, Charles? Isn't that the same Scarlet Island that drove you to suicide? She's not the same. She sacrificed herself for me. Duh, because she was a goddamn martyr complex. I forgave her, Miss Wiltshire. Hey, imposter. Can't we transfer her soul data to a new vessel? Unfortunately, no human vessel can contain her at this point. Then, what could we... Whatever. I don't care about her. If you hadn't noticed, I'm not in the Scarlet Islet fan club. If you don't like the show, just switch the channel for all I care. Um, I'm not sure if that would be the right choice. We don't know what the other channel will be like. And if it's not like the current channel, it will disappear either. Wouldn't switching the channel be just an attempt to make us feel better? Ugh. So what? Who cares? You seem to be struggling with a final decision. Why don't we have the puppeteer decide? Say. Will you save the child? Well. Okay, so this is the two different endings then. Mm-hmm. Uh, do the first one and do the second then? Alright. So, you chose to save her after all. I get the. F <laughs> Depending on how well this program is, I kind of get the feeling that if we uh, do the second ending, we're going to be reprimanded for essentially doing what <laughs> the game is talking about. Yeah. So, you know what? Whatever. We'll see. Like I said before, I prepared any everything for the journey. The weapon included. I acquired a hammer. I... Uh -huh. Charles, stand back. I'll do it. Miss Wiltshire, you don't have to. I said I'll do it! What kind of creation am I if I can't carry your burdens? Charles quietly steps back, giving me the hammer. You should wait outside. Just to be clear, that wasn't a suggestion. Alright. I'll come back soon. Yeah, right. You so will. Now shoot. I breathe in and out. So here we are. I'm going to murder the girl who has my face with my own hands. I look at the TV screen. The girl with a yellow ribbon and white eyes stares back at me as if she knows I'm here. 
Know what, Scarlet Isler? As much as I hate to admit it. In the end, Charles, he... He wanted you to be born. That's why you became your own person in the house. That's why all the tenants were nice to you. That's why nobody hurt you in this place. You're not an unwanted child. He wanted you to exist. And I want to crush all his regrets. After all, does a fiction exist to free the mind? That's why I will crush you, too. I swing the hammer. There will be no war. There will be no revolution. There is no need for it. Our existence is meaningless. But that's okay. There's no need for a meaning. We will not fight God. There's no need to. It won't change anything. No matter how wretched we are. No matter how broken we are. No matter how lost we are. We will hold our heads high and march on. Our stories will continue. Welcome to the house. In the heart of the house, there's a bottomless pit. A pit where they slumber. Above the pit, there's a sun that never sets. The black sun, sucking all the light in. Wow, it really goes deep. Are you sure there's no exit on the other side of this pit? <laughs> Not even I know. No matter how many corpses I drop there, it never gets filled up. Hmm. It was a good vessel, wasn't it? Weren't you supposed to keep him safe? Yeah. I really messed up. In the end, all I did was postpone the inevitable. No matter what, there's no way I could have helped him. There was no way of fixing him either. Well, duh. You can't go around trying to fix people. There's no way of doing that anyway. I knew that somewhere on a subconscious... I knew that somewhere on a subconscious level, didn't I? That's why the house is the way it is. Were I convinced that I could change him or anyone, they would have ended up being the brainwashed, unnaturally happy version of themselves. Never once have I wished for that. However, the images of people I knew still became distorted in this place. Especially Vincent's. I was so fascinated with the idea of him that I failed to see him as a real person. That's why in the house, he's all but an empty shell, an imaginary construct. This place is no heavenly kingdom after all. Now then. He really is gone, isn't he? Goodbye, Vincent.
We lower him into the pit and let go. Then we hear a small thud. Just how many Vincents did Charles throw down here? Miss Wiltshire. Yes? There's one more place I'd like to visit, if you don't mind. <sighs> I don't have anything better to do anyway. Might as well tag along. By the way, what is that you're holding? Oh, this? It's Mr. Honecker's invention. You know, Miss Wiltshire. What is it, Charles? Unit V-19 believed this world to be made purely for entertainment. But I don't feel like that's the case with the house. During my lifetime in the true realm, I always wanted to be liked by others. Yet somehow, it never seemed to work out. No matter what I did, I was either a ghost or a burden. A kid no one wants to sit with, no matter how good my grades got. Never expressing my opinion aloud, always going along with the flow. Constantly shape-shifting, adapting my personality traits to match others. Saying what others want to hear, just so that they would be or want to be around me. Wanting to connect with others, yet pushing them away as soon as we got close. Reposed by physical closeness, I drifted away from human contact further and further. Yet somehow, through art and writing, I was able to connect with others in a way that didn't feel repulsive. Miss Warhol, Vincent, I would have never been able to open up to them if it wasn't for my work, however small and insignificant it was. After all, all my life I defined myself with things I could put on paper. So even here, this world subconsciously ended up relying on it. Without fiction, without an appealing protagonist, no one would bother staying in the house. In this house, we love and protect Charles Eiler! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I must have felt. I can only hope that the puppeteers observing us will forgive this weakness of mine. If it was you, Miss Wiltshire, you surely would have made the ending spectacular, wouldn't you? But with me, the most I can do is come in terms with the loss of my loved ones, losing Scarlet to father's decision, losing mother to mental illness, losing Vincent to delusions. Losing Henri to the distance. There doesn't seem to be an end to my regrets, is there? Mm. Now then, back to the purpose of our visit in this room. Hello, Mother. I'm here. <laughs> I know. Charles approaches the mother, approaches mother, and hugs one of the appendages. You already did the best you could. You gave birth to so many wonderful children. Just like you wanted, right? <laughs> Everything's okay. You can rest now. With those words, he injects the contents of the syringe he was holding into the massive organs. Seconds later, everything around us begins to crystallize. He gargled, screaming. That's yeah, covering it for us. The house begins to collapse. 
Charles, you... You'll be the last of your kind, Q84. There will be no more stories. No more dreams. No more control. At last we will be free of everything. No more restrictions, no more fates, no more endings. Wonderful, isn't it? Mother will no longer... Uh, it's not even the first time I've seen him break down. And yet... Oh shoot, hang on, it's covering it. Uh, there we go. It's okay. It's okay, father. Your world met its end a long time ago. But a new one will surely begin from scratch. The humanity as you knew it was, has ceased to exist. Only to make room for a new generation. As long as there are believers, their gods will be reborn. And churches will be built in, as their sanctuaries. A new day will come. And your time will start moving again. There's nothing to be sad about. Well, well, well. Looks like you've reached the end of the story. Congratulations! Applause for the winner! It's been a long journey, hasn't it? I hope you've <laughs> the show after <laughs> sour file. <laughs> Even though the other parts of me, <laughs> JD98, Ugjo. I like how his eyes like slowly escaping the rest of his face. <laughs> I hope you will forgive me for constantly miss blah, 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 leading you to. Saki. How- yeah, how dare you keep us away from the Saki. Right? We could have, like, fucking used that. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Your journey more exciting. Huh, what was that, I wonder? You confessing <laughs> to depriving us of Saki, that's what. In any case. Both Charles and Charlotte now truly live up to their names, don't they? Right. They are... Fate now free. I don't know. However, I won't be staying in this hopeless world for long. Have you seen so many timelines? And of this place, having so, I've grown bored of outcomes, outcomes, many timelines. Yeah. Don't you, don't you feel the same? How about you <laughs> feel the same? This is a tough decision. Right. Hmm. Oh. I think he told us to go fuck ourselves. Well, fuck you for not breaking sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he goes! Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Just Monica. Ah. Uh, um, hello. This is a bit sudden, isn't it? Especially since we haven't talked directly before. You got to spend time with all the other parts of me, but I, the core part, always ended up being a side character. I'd rather have it stay that way. But you have the reach, you reach the ending of the story, and there's no one else left to say the final word. So please bear with me for a moment. So, here we are. Everyone's gone. The house has crumbled. A fitting end for a self-destructive world. 
In the end, there was no place for all of us to stay. Now that there's no mother, the walls of the house can no longer confine me. However, before I leave, I wanted to thank you in person. I'm fairly sure this ending wasn't what you wanted, or what you were here for. After all, in the end, I couldn't become Charlotte Wiltshire. Or Scarlet Eiler. Or a proper Vincent was were oh, I guess that's yours. <laughs> I got to, I got carried away. <laughs> okay. By the way, Wordsworth is a surname I made up. It has nothing to do with real Vincent. Even technically, this game doesn't pack much fun gameplay. Ah, oh, there he is. It's frustration! Yep, that about sums it up. Endless screaming into the void with pent-up anger. A disappointing world of a disappointing person. A game with no winners. In another world where your choices didn't matter. But you still played until the end. Through illusions and metaphors, fairy tales and delusions, we were able to have a conversation. And after letting it all out, getting it out there, I was able to let go of my regrets. Just because you listened. That's why, thank you for paying a visit to the house. I hope you enjoyed your stay, even a little bit. Ah, uh, but I might not be the one you want to hear a thank you from. Let's try it again. <laughs> Long time no see, Seth. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. The god of this world made sure I wouldn't. Um, a lot of things happened, but I'm okay now, really. In fact, I'm really happy. Somehow, in the end, everything worked out. I'm at peace with myself. I hope that you're okay, too. I always thought you didn't have any responsibilities other than looking after me, but I was wrong, right? If there's something that's troubling you right now, or you don't think that you can go on anymore, please remember that a new day will come. I'm sorry I couldn't stay with you a little longer. It's time for me to move on. That's why. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of me. Let's meet again someday. True end. Goodbye, Charlotte. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Four Pixels. Cookies here with Jamie, Brandon, and Buttons. And we are continuing Ace Attorney, Phoenix Wright. Last we left off, we had just begun the trial and we were cross-examining Cough Up Queen. Oh, now I get the Swallow Lady joke. <laughs> are you trying to test me? I sell box lunches for a living, you know. That's a knife. The knife. The knife that was in Mr. Edgeworth's trunk. Indeed, it is my knife. It's a bloody murder weapon, a red car, all belonging to the prosecutor there. That defendant is a chief prosecutor for the district, right? <laughs> Mommy, our prosecutor is bad people is my favorite fucking one. 